Hey guys, it's Mike Doyle at Century 21 here to give you a housing outlook for fall slash winter of 2022. Look guys, there's a lot of changes going on right now. And the biggest change that I'm seeing with the rising interest rates is something called the mortgage rate lockdown. I'm gonna explain what that means in a second. But right now I'm here to tell you that you know, buyers are looking to, for deals. Buyers are thinking that homes are gonna drop in price 30, 40% like they did in 2008. Well, unfortunately for buyers and fortunately for sellers, that's not gonna happen. And it's because of this concept called the mortgage rate lockdown. Basically what it is is this. There are thousands of homeowners here in Orange County, all of Southern California, that have interest rates below 3%. And they have very low taxes because of Prop 13, and they don't owe a lot on their houses. So for them to sell, for them to have to sell and take giant price reductions, there's gonna need to really be something crazy going on in their lives. Because most people, again, with these low interest rates, do not wanna give them up. They say, well, okay, I'm gonna sell this house, and I've got a 3% interest rate. And I'm gonna buy a new house. Maybe it's the home of my dreams. Maybe I'm just downsizing. But the new rate, it's gonna be six to six and a half percent. And it's this issue that's stopping a lot of homeowners from selling their homes, from putting their homes on the market. So right now we have this battle. The battle is low supply. You know, all these people that are saying, eh, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at, and low demand. And the low demand is created by home buyers that are simply getting priced out of the market because the interest rates have risen so much and the prices just haven't uh, come down yet. So it's interesting, gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. But I'm telling you, if we don't have a lot of homes hit the market in spring of 2023, the odds of a giant market correction are very low. And here's the other thing. What I'm seeing anecdotally throughout Orange County is the best homes in the best neighborhoods are still selling with three, four, five, heck, still even 10 offers. There's so few homes on the market and there are so many buyers out there that that huge millennial buyer cohort. And again, the millennials are the, uh, any buyer between 30 and 40 years old. Those people still really wanna buy homes they're still getting married, they're still having babies, and they still want to buy a regular single family home in a good neighborhood. So they are highly valuing those nice homes in nice neighborhoods, and those homes are not dropping in price nearly uh, the way it, homes uh, are in, let's say the Inland Empire, uh, less desirable areas, or you know, condos, homes on busy roads, homes on freeways, that kind of stuff, all right? So again, for the rest of 2022 and the balance of 2023, expect very low supply and very low, low demand and a slight cooling off in prices, not a huge drop, and a very slight cooling in the, um, uh, in the activity level, all right? If you got questions specifically about your area, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text. Guys, I am happy to help with whatever questions you need. Thanks.